In our interview, my colleague Ibrahim Adra spoke to the Director General of the National Biotechnology Development Agency, Professor Lucy Ogwadu. Professor Ogwadu, thank you very much for speaking with me on Dateline. It's my pleasure to be here. The federal government of Nigeria has expressed its commitment to diversify from its mono economy and agriculture for it is the way to go. It's the first option. Do you think biotechnology has any role to play in this regard? Thank you very much. I mean, the only way to go is biotechnology. How is that? Because, because agricultural uh, imp improvement in agriculture is biotechnology. If you are talking about going into agriculture to diversify the economy, you are talking about agricultural biotechnology. There's no other way. You are talking essentially about agricultural biotechnology because whatever advancement has been made in agriculture from the, time, the Stone Age era up to this point, point is biotechnology intervention into agriculture because the definition of biotechnology is essentially providing enabling environment for living organisms in this case plants and animals to thrive well you know providing them preparing the enabling environment for these organisms to grow well to produce that is the definition of biotechnology Bio referring to life, technology means the application of not new knowledge for them to grow. So it is about technology. You are talking about using agricultural biotechnology to diversify the economy. Some people will argue that what you're saying is simply using those terms to describe making adjustments to the genes of the product, which is the modification that has generated so much debate. Is Nigeria ready for what you're proposing? Look, every living organism is controlled. The, 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 the development, the appearances, you know, the manner in which every living organism operates is governed by the genetic material. That is the blueprint of life. It is embedded in the DNA. The behavior, the quality, the attributes of every living organism is imprinted in the DNA. The uh, nucleic, uh, uh, ribonucleic acid. So if you are talking about modification, if you desire a good product, a good offspring, out of every living organism, you are essentially looking at a way of modifying the DNA. If you desire to have appreciable offspring, if you desire to have appreciable product, agricultural products, you are talking about modifying the DNA whether directly or indirectly, whether you, you want to provide good environmental condition for the organism to do well or not. You are talking about, you are referring to modifying the DNA. And that is what nature has always done for us. Has it? Yes, that's exactly what nature has done over millennia. Modifying DNA. When you bring one parent together with another parent to form an offspring you are modifying you are bringing characters from that uh, uh, parent to mix with the, the dna from the other parent to give you a desirable offspring its effect on environment does it have any well I mean, it depends on how you look at it Let's look when at the positives. Say, let, let, let's see, look at the positives for now. Yes, the positives are numerous. Increase in yield, increase in, uh, in uh, or decrease in application of chemicals 
because when they are resistant to so many pests, so many uh, uh, infectious agents that would normally devastate crops, it means that you do not have to apply, you know, chemical agents that usually attack this pest anymore. You now can come up with uh, products that would not normally grow in certain areas like in drought, uh, dry environment. You, you can come up with products that can grow in the desert area or, or a area with short rainfall. You know, you have, can come up with early maturing crops that can thrive in such areas. You can come up with material products, seeds that can do very well uh, in wet swampy areas. These are crops that will not normally grow there. And you know there are people all over the world that live in swampy areas. So, so if they are able to cult cultivate their own crops, crops that would normally grow in dry environment, what it means is that all the year round, you have crop varieties that can thrive in many ecological uh, terrains. So these are the numerous be benefits. You can now come up with crops uh, or fruits that can stay long on the shelf without uh, breaking down, such as tomatoes that goes to waste, you know, so as soon as they are harvested. So there are numerous benefits. Obviously, so much that you can convince anyone on this. But do we know the level of acceptance in this country thus far? It goes with advocacy. It goes with enlightening the public. Because it is a scientific thing. And it, the, the responsibility is ours to be able to, to get the public to know exactly what is happening. You know, instead of driving fear into... The, you know, the minds of people. I mean, what we should be doing is to enlighten the public and get them t to know the benefits. Now, there is no scientific ed endeavor that does not come with its negatives. But scientists that are working in biotechnology have taken extra care to address the negatives, issues bordering on the negatives and that is why it takes so long for them to come up with products they it takes like 13 15 years to come out with product and out of 13 15 years only three about three to five years is dedicated to developing the product the remaining 10 to 12 years is committed to safety issues. Only recently you attended the commissioning of a bioresource development center. Bring me up to speed. What are the benefits that are accruable from this venture? All right. Uh, the bio, our bioresources development centers are located in various parts of the country and they are so strategically located with a view to assisting to impart skills of bio enterprises on the citizenry, those who care to come up, to take them up as an income generating business. So the, our Pioneer Center in Odi is the one we went to, to commit, uh, commission the laboratory complex. And this laboratory complex is, is designed to add value to all the bio resources that we are exploring in that zone. And it is expected that we'll do the same to all the other 25 bioresources development centers presently in existence. I'd like to thank you very much for finding time to explain this much to us on the program. It's my pleasure. I appreciate your time. And, uh... It's my pleasure. Well, thank you all for your mails and comments. Please keep them coming and using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also be sure to share anything happening within your locality. And don't you forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuki. See you again.